Hello, hello, hello. Pardon our uh, sound over here. Whoopsie. But uh, we got it all figured out, right, Rico? Thank you so much. Welcome, 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 everyone, to Arizona Roller Derby Season 21. We are super excited to get this game going between Arizona Roller Derby All-Stars and Baja Roller Derby. Pues bienvenidos a nuestros amigos de Baja. So we're going to get rolling, uh, Vamp, with the roster from our friends from Baja. All right, coming to us from Baja, California, the Baja Roller Derby team has brought along number 03, Almeida, number 10, Cerrillo, number 110, Koshu, 1251, Marty Bum, 13, Queen V, 131, Venenoville, number 15, Carolo, 177, Mess Craven, 18, Rich Bitch, 20, Marquez, 2326 Icebox 31 Hannibal 686 Cat Attack Number 8 Pony and number 99 nine, West Give a round of applause for our team from Baja California Baja Roller Derby Applauso Roderby. Applauso And skating in the black jerseys your Arizona Roller Derby All-Stars 024 Cuddy, number 10 Frida, 2 Mimi Mahler, number 22 Mercedes, number 24 I'm a blow by ya, 3 1 2 by force, 3 1 3 West Coast Mafia, 3 3 8 1 Helenati, 3 9 4 Punky Pie, 4 Sherman, Number seven, Skatey Katie. Seven one zero, Gail Satan. Eight eight, Ms. Murder. Nine two four, Loose Chaos. And nine five, Lightning the Queen. Round of applause for our AZ All Stars. Whoop whoop! And we are also joined by our officials, skating and non-skating. Kit Ruff, Sweet and Sour Candy, Miss B. Haven, Say Rar, Fickle Bitch, Triage, Loki Loki, Notorious, Gnarly Quinn, Morph, McWinkle, Hate Bit, Flash, Keshi, Scary Reed, Razor Cat, and Dysentery. And we are just moments from getting this live derby action going. This is a sanctioned game. So excited that everybody is here. Shout out to all our friends on Twitch. Thanks for joining us this lovely afternoon in beautiful Mesa, Arizona. Y para nuestros amigos que están viendo la transmisión por Twitch, muchas gracias por venir y ver a este juego. Está a punto a empezar, tenemos 30 segundos para que empiece el juego contra Arizona y Baja Roller Derby. And there's the whistle. Everybody getting set. Who next, do we have on the track? The next whistle start the game and to get us going Wearing the star for Arizona, that is 924 Loose Chaos. And number 18 for Baja Rich Bitch. And the action has started. Chaos gets knocked to the inside, recycled back, tries to find an opening on the outside, but gets shut down by Almeida and recycled back. Rich Bitch also now getting recycled back by Ima Blobaya. All the action happening in this first straightaway. And now, almost 30 seconds in, we do have a lead. Lead going to Arizona Roller Derby's Loose Chaos. There has been a star pass for Baja. So now jamming is Koshu for Baja. Four points going on that scoreboard for Arizona here in the early moments of this game. And in that second straightaway, Koshu looking to get out of the pack still. Busting past 
a couple of Arizona blockers, then goes to the outside, chased down there by Mercedes, but is now out. So gonna put that pressure on Loose Chaos and Arizona. Chaos continuing with that forward momentum there. And there's the call off just as Koshu gets to the pack. The jam is ended. Looks like it's gonna be an eight point jam in favor of Arizona. Nos estamos preparando para el segundo, la segunda etapa de este juego, de la primera parte del juego contra Arizona y Baja. En la primera parte vimos ocho puntos para Arizona y cero para Baja. Cinco segundos ya se llama. Tenemos a West para Baja contra Gale Satan de Arizona. Están man manteniendo atrás a West. Mientras tanto, está Gail Satan uh, empujándose para el frente. Ahora tiene nomás tres personas ir contra. Y sale por afuera y sale con Lee Jammer. Gail Satan ahora regresando con rapidez para hacer puntos. Mientras tanto, vemos a West que se está tratando de salir por afuera, pero la sacan. Todavía está en su inicial pero la tiran para abajo. Mientras tanto, a Pony tiene atrás a Gale Satan, que todavía no ha hecho más de sus cuatro puntos, pero empuja para el frente. Y vemos que mandan a Gale Satan a la, a la cancha para, por un penal. Uh, salió antes de tiempo y se regresó. Así que tiene Power Jam, la West, y le falta una persona para ir contra. Ahora dos. Y la empujan para abajo. Pero sí se mantendió por dentro. Y sale. Y como sabemos, es su inicial. Ahora va a regresar para hacer sus cuatro puntos. Sus compañeros están preparando para dar la ofensiva. Pero preparándose, Arizona se está moviendo rápido para poder contener a West. Mientras tanto, vemos al regreso de Gale Satan a la, a la pista. Y está yendo contra Pony, que la está tratando de contener. Pero miramos a West saliendo con cuatro puntos. Y detrás de ella, Gale Satan también con cuatro puntos. Cuatro a cuatro. Y aquí miramos a todas las compañeras arrebasándose para que no le alcanzan. Y ahí se concluye el jam. Cuatro puntos para cada equipo. Ahora estamos a 12 puntos para Arizona y cuatro puntos para Baja. Con 25 minutos que quedan. Now we are getting ready for jam number three. El número tres se va a empezar. Jamming for Arizona, West Coast. Y West Coast has left the pack, does have lead. Number 10, Serio, Serio, Jammer, pa Baja. Y sería reciclado por Ima Blobaya. Four points on the board for West Coast. Cuatro puntos para West Coast y Arizona. Serio casi ha salido del pack, pero era empujado al centro por Ms. Murder. Ms. Murder slowing down Serio, pushing to the inside and getting that recycle as West Coast comes back around, about to look for four more points. Eight so far on this jam for West Coast. West Coast ya tiene ocho puntos y ya con cuatro más ha llegado a doce puntos en ese jam para West Coast. Oh, hey, un penal para Serio. We have a power jam. Power jam. Power jam. This is a power jam for Arizona. So, 30 seconds for Arizona to focus on offense and scoring as many points as they can, but Baja's blockers are getting together, forming up on those tripods and slowing down West Coast. 
And West Coast calls it off with Cerillo standing. So Cerillo de, de pie cuando se acaba este jam. So vamos a empezar ahora con un power start. 20 points for Arizona, 20 puntos para Arizona. 32 a 4, 32 to 4. Cinco segundos para la próxima etapa de este juego. Vemos a Frida para Arizona tomando la pista. Sus compañeros ofreciendo ofensiva y rápidamente sale Frida. Mientras tanto, Cerillo regresa a la pista. Las, ahora, viendo por, el, por adentro, sale en su inicial. Cerillo tratando de alcanzar al pack. Mientras tanto, Frida la sacan por afuera. Mira que ese río está alcanzándola y llama el jam. Ya haciendo sus puntos, creo que eso van a ser cuatro puntos en total para Arizona, uh, manteniendo su lead. 36 puntos para Arizona, manteniendo baja a cuatro. Para que sepan, este juego está sancionado y es, van a los rankings para el torneo que uh, viene, creo que, 26, el año 26. Un año y medio de... Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, sí. Pues estamos empezando con el otro jam. Eso es número 5. Y los jammers de este es Punky Pie para Arizona contra quién es Marqués para Baja. Y Marqués se fue volando por un, un choque grande de Ima Blobaya. So getting recycled back is Marquez. Punky getting knocked out, also recycled back. That recycled by Veneno Vil. And another jammer penalty to Baja. Baja has had two. Baja ha tenido dos penales para los jammers en los primeros cinco jams de este, este juego. So power jam for Arizona and Punky Pie looking to make some moves and put up some points. Calls it off once again with the Baja Jammer standing in the penalty box. Me sorprende mucho que a Punky Pie la han tirado al piso más de una vez. Es muy difícil de mantener a Punky Pie atrás, menos a tirarla al piso como la, como Baja ha hecho y Baja pues ya si siguen a sus sociales están entrenando mucho uh -huh. juntas y se está notando aquí en la pista sí está muy fuerte ese equipo de Baja y aquí vamos con Luz Keas para Arizona contra Marqués que Marqués está parada en el en la cancha del penal pero la, ya sale y regresa a la pista mientras tanto Luz Keas está viniendo Y se sale con calma para que no la manden al, a la cancha de penal, pero sale con cuatro puntos con estilo. Mientras tanto, vemos a Marqués tratando de salir. Le falta una persona, sus compañeros tratando de ofrecer más ofensiva, pero vemos a Sherman que la tiene mantener para atrás. Mientras tanto, otro cuatro puntos para Luz Chaos. Marqués tratando de ir por adentro, la mandan por adentro. Dos por cuatro es el nombre de la uh, blocker de Arizona. Y vemos a Marqués, la mandan para atrás a la cancha del penal. Así que va a ser power jam para Luz Chaos. Y eso no está bien, <ríe> porque Luz Chaos, como sabemos, si, si siguen a Roller Derby, es una, una jammer pues, con mucho talento y mucha experiencia. Luz Keas viniendo y saliendo con fácil facilidad y ya se termina el jam. 20 puntos para Arizona. Luz Keas manteniendo a baja a cero. Ahora vemos que estamos a 63 para Arizona y 4 para baja. Y nomás nos faltan 19 minutos en esta uh, primera etapa de este juego. That's the second 20-point jam of this game. First one coming from West Coast Mafia back in jam number three. 
So Baja, as strong as they are on the blocker side, is getting into some jammer penalty trouble. Three penalties so far, and we are only in jam number seven. So that is Gail Satan with the star for Arizona going against Marquez, who started this jam in the penalty box. Marquez now out of the penalty box and looking to make some moves going out for that outside lane, but does get bumped to the out by Murder. So now trying for the end, but runs right into I'm a Blow Bias. So Arizona's blockers doing a great Beautiful. job of locking up every lane on the track. Beautiful teamwork between Pony and Hannibal, just keeping Gail Satan contained. Yeah, and Gail Satan getting knocked to the outside there by that pairing of Pony and Hannibal. So recycled back, both teams jammers just in that straightaway. Gail Satan does have lead, but has yet to put up any points on the board, has possibly picked up all four, but since uh, Satan hasn't gotten all the way out of the pack. We don't know yet. Oh, and a cut track call to Marquez. Marquez may be starting to get into a little bit of penalty trouble here in this game. I'm not sure if that's two or th three. I think that was three, yeah. Oh, no, no, and uh, I think she just got a little gassed and uh, <gasps> ended up skating inbounds uh, when they skated through the apex, they didn't feel the tape, I suppose. Oh, so yeah. they kept skating through and they got a penalty for that for cut track. Yeah. Meanwhile, this is a power jam for West Coast Mafia for Arizona. Arizona holding back the pivot for Baja in efforts to make it a little easier for West Coast to push through, which they do. West Coast assess lead. All right, and we do see the return of West Coast Mafia to the pack for a scoring pass here. Arizona splitting up that pack, making it easier for West Coast to go through for a four point. We do see the release of Marquez from the penalty box back onto the track, assessing where they need to return. And right into the tripod takes off the star, but is knocked to the outside lane and recycled by Mimi Mahler, who returns Marquez into the outside lane, recycling them again. Looking to their pivot now, Marquez passes the star over to their pivot. I believe that's number 10, said he. Oh, no, that might be someone else. Give me a second. It's a little difficult to see. They're a little far away. I think that was Rich Bitch who was past the star, who is now putting it on their head. Meanwhile, Met West Coast Mafia assessed another four points. Rich Bitch recycled to the inside lane and kept back by Lightning the Queen and Mimi Mahler. And that concludes the jam. 12 points in the air for, oh no wait, 13 points in the air for West Coast Mafia, bringing up the points to 80 for Arizona Roller Derby, four points for Baja with 15 minutes left in the first half. The first 15 minutes of this game has really flown by. Getting ready now for jam number eight. So also not a lot of jams. The jams have been running pretty long here each time uh, we start this jam our jammers are Frida for Arizona Roller Derby and West for Baja. Y Frida ha salido del pack. Primero es lead jammer. West está intentando de salir, pero cada vez que se empieza, llegan los blockers de Arizona para que la para. Frida está en un paso de ganar puntos. Y se fue para afuera, y ya está libre. Tiene cuatro puntos más para Arizona. West está buscando una manera de salir de ese pack, pero Frida ha regresado otra vez.
ella ahora un paso de la estrella y ahora Koshu. Koshu era el Jammer cuando se acabó Frida y se ganó cuántos puntos? 12 creo. Sí, ocho Ocho. puntos en total para Arizona, manteniendo sus puntos a a head. Tenemos 88 puntos para Arizona y cuatro para Baja. Creo que vamos a tomar un minuto. Baja llama un time out para tomar un minuto para reevaluar qué va a ser su estrategia estrategia para la próxima etapa de este juego. Uh, ya como vemos, Baja sí tiene mucho esfuerzo, mucho, uh, mucha pasión para el juego, pero Arizona está manteniendo la defensa muy, uh, muy en, en, enfocada en los jammers, que muchas veces cuando vemos juegos con Baja, los, los jammers tienen uh, la facilidad, facilidad de salir, pero como vemos en este juego, ellos no, ellos no están saliendo como, como esperábamos y los penales para los jammers es, se están, um, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> they're, they're stacking up, yeah. basically. So, it's a good time to kind of take a time out, reassess and figure out how are they going to bring up their points from the four points that they've been kept at for the past few jams here. Yeah, Baja is certainly capable of putting more points on that scoreboard. But as you mentioned, those jammer penalties are really hurting them right now. Y vemos muchas veces cuando um, jugadores que vienen de otro país o de otro lugar, um, cuando patinan en un nuevo lugar, necesitan tiempo para ajustarse. Pero ya vemos aquí, tenemos a Punky Pie contra Serio. Serio la está manteniendo sus a uh, pies adentro de la pista y sale con lead serio para baja sale mientras tanto Punky Pie la mantienen atrás ella tiene la estrella en mano para ver si la tiene que pasar uh, pero vemos el regreso a serio para hacer sus puntos para que vemos ese tiempo que tomaron baja le hicieron bien porque uh, aquí serio Agarra sus puntos y llama el jam. Cuatro puntos para baja. Ahora tenemos ocho puntos para ellas y manteniendo Arizona 88 con 12 minutos y medio que faltan en esta primera mitad de este juego. Yeah, excellent use of that timeout by Baja. Came right out, scored four quick points before the call off. Now we are getting ready for jam number 11. That's Loose Chaos with the star for Arizona and Rich Bitch for Baja. And Chaos getting knocked to the outside, recycled back by Hannibal. Rich Bitch also getting knocked to the inside, recycled there by Ms. Murder. Loose Chaos is out, has picked up lead. Loose Chaos ha ganado el lead. So Chaos now looking to score some points, kind of shimmies in from that inside to the outside, a bit of a slalom there and adds four points to that Arizona score. Meanwhile, Rich Bitch is still looking to find a way out of that pack. Some nice blocking there by Baja, but Chaos able to find a little bit of a lane and or makes a lane where there was no lane and gets through for four more points. So Chaos very agile on eight wheels. And through, oh, Rich Bitch gets out of the pack but is knocked to the inside by Lose Chaos. That is an absolute soul crusher because now Rich Bitch has to start all over again. So Chaos with some fancy skating on that outside lane, but does go out, so comes back in behind everyone else for the restart. Looks like there is a penalty to 
a Baja blocker. So Chaos going to the outside very quickly, gets four points, calls it off. A beautiful 16 point jam for Loose Chaos and Arizona Roller Derby. Yeah, Arizona came here with a goal and that was to maintain a good standing in the rankings for the 2026 tournament coming uh, I'm sh later, much later, but uh, looking ahead to the future pretty yeah. much. We got to get through this this 2024 <laughs> <laughs> championships. Well, right, and we have Gail Satan on the track quickly picking up lead against West. West who's being kept to the inside lane and recycled back by Lightning the Queen. Lightning the Queen tracking West and recycling them into the tripod where Naughty and 2 by Force quickly just keep the pinch on West, but that makes Baja run an offense fully on Arizona. We do see West being offered a penalty, and now this is a power jam for Gail Satan, who is out with four points in the air. So a skater apiece for each team, as we do see two by fours in the penalty box for Arizona as well. Gail Satan through the inside lane, picking up four points. Baja keeping to the front, trying to get ahead of the offense that's being offered by Arizona. Arizona going on the inside, and Gail Satan takes the inside lane where offense beautifully opened up the door for them. Calls the jam with West standing, I believe five seconds left for them in the box, so a five second power start for Arizona. We have 120 points for Arizona Roller Derby against Baja's eight points with eight and a half minutes left in the first half. This is a power start for West Coast Mafia and Arizona Roller Derby. Baja's jammer is standing in the penalty box, so it won't be too long until we see a return to play for the jammer. West Coast out quickly, so has established lead. West uh, jamming for Baja is now back on the track and able to spin around Skatey Katie and get out of the pack. So West Coast Mafia goes ahead and calls it off, picks up four quick points for Arizona. Great job there by Baja to keep that scoring low in that last jam. Ahora en la pista tenemos a Frida para Arizona y contra Cerillo de Baja. Dos, cinco segundos para que empieza. Y empezamos, tenemos atrás a Cerillo. Mientras tanto, Frida tomando el frente. Estamos mirando a Mimi Muller manteniendo a la bloqueadora atrás para que Frida tenga menos uh, jugadores de ir contra. Pero en Lightning the Queen ofrece ofensiva para Frida, pero Frida la mantienen por adentro y la sacan para afuera, la reciclan. Mientras tanto, Serio la mantienen atrás. Uh, tenemos a Mimi Muller jugando con Naughty. Las dos manteniendo a Cerillo atrás. Y vemos a Frida con una más y sale con lead para Arizona. Cerillo pasa la estrella a Hannibal. Hannibal que la reciclan por adentro. La mantienen atrás. Hannibal con la estrella en el casco. Regresando y con fuerza se mete adentro de la, de la defensiva para Arizona. Y ahora vemos a Frida tomando el frente, la defensiva de baja, conteniendo a Frida. Mientras tanto, Hannibal sale en su inicial. Frida mirando que Hannibal salió, llama al jam. Cuatro puntos en el aire para Frida. 128 para Arizona, 8 para baja con cinco, menos de cinco minutos en esta primera etapa del juego. De baja contra Arizona. Punky Pie with the star for Arizona, Marquez for Baja. 
And that whistle means we are back at the live derby action. Punky Pie going up that outside lane and just continues to power through. Each hit Baja threw at Punky Pie was knocked down as Punky continued forward and got lead status. And while that was happening, Marquez picked up a penalty so that is another jammer penalty for Baja here in this first half. So Punky Pie looking to pick up some points, able to get through on the inside lane. Four points, calls it off with Marquez standing in the penalty box. So eight point jam for Arizona. Y como vemos, uh, tenemos a Marquez en la cancha de penal. Uh, está parada, entonces no va a tener mucho tiempo en, en esa posición, pero sí va a ser un power jam para Luz Chaos. Todas tomando espacio al frente. Um, no creo que vaya a ser muy buena estrategia contra Luz Chaos. Um, Luz Chaos es muy uh, ágil, como ven, tomando aire inmediatamente y sale con lead para Arizona. Y vemos el regreso a Marqués. I'm a Blow Bayou reconociendo que regresa el jammer de baja. Y se están preparando para el regreso. Y se quita la estrella mirando a su pivot. Mientras tanto, Luz Chaos regresando a la acción para tomar sus puntos. Luz Chaos uh, tomando pocos pasos y sale por afuera con cuatro puntos en el aire. Mientras tanto, Rich Bitch ahora tiene la estrella en el casco y está regresando, tratando de agarrar un punto por lo menos, pero Luz Chaos ni le da el punto y llama el jam. Ocho puntos para Luz Chaos. Ahora estamos a 144 para Arizona. Ocho puntos para Baja con tres minutos que faltan en esta primera etapa de este juego. Just three minutes left here in the first half of this game. Gail Satan with the star for Arizona, West for Baja. And we are back at it. Satan pushing forward at the front of the pack, but West also breaking free, not before Satan gets out and does get called lead. West had made some progress, but was hung up allowing the Arizona blockers to reform. Now getting knocked to the inside and recycled back. Frida, or excuse me, Satan looking for space, finds it on that outside lane and scores for, we have had a successful star pass for Baja. That is Pony now jamming for Baja. Pony trying to figure out the uh, helmet cover situation, but it gets called off, so it doesn't matter. Those, those helmet covers can Todos get a little en esa posición alguna vez, Pony. <laughs> One minute, 47 seconds left. Five second call, everybody taking the jammer line. West Coast against Rich bitch for Baja. We do see West Coast taking the front of the pack, meeting up with the tripod for Baja. Meanwhile, we have a strong tripod in the back, keeping Rich bitch contained. No pack called, so forced to bridge. West Coast, one more to beat and out, but is assessed a penalty. This is a power jam for Baja. Rich Bitch now passing the star over to Cat Attack. Cat Attack taking the star and quickly getting out around the defense, but is assessed a cut track as they oh did have a skate man. slightly go out when I believe that was either Lightning or Mimi who quickly tried to knock them out. So this is a jammer do -si do We do see the return of West Coast onto the track for Arizona picking up some speed and looking to their offense, which is offering a quick attack to the inside lane. Back block being assessed to Lightning the Queen. 
We do see Rich Bitch standing and back on the track, serving the same time that West Coast did. West Coast now following behind, but we do see Rich Bitch out through the inside, or Cat Attack through the inside lane, picking up points. West Coast now looking to offer some jammer on jammer defense and knocks them both out and now both being recycled to the back, all the way back. Everybody offering some advice from the bench. We do see both of them now back on the track. West Coast taking the inside lane, trying to skate around the outside, get some offense and out. One more to beat. Four points in the air for West Coast Mafia. Cat Attack, meanwhile, recycled by Sherman, and that concludes that jam. Let's see how many points were picked up there. Two points for Baja, bringing them up to 10. Four points for West Coast, bringing them up to 156. And that is intermission for the first half between Baja Roller Derby and Arizona All-Stars. Let's be back in say about 14 minutes, 14 and a half. Yeah, keep in mind, we are going to have a food truck here today, Ocho Rios Jerk Spot. I'm not sure if they're set up yet. It might not be till four o'clock, but when they start, they'll be right out the doors to the right. So if you're here in-house yep. and not on Twitch, get uh, your get snacks, get some delicious get drinks. Ocho Rios Jerk Spot. Well, List IO. Music licensing reimagined. Licensing reimagined. Music license. Artlist IO.
music licensing reimagined. Music licensing reimagined. Music license. Artlist IO. Licensing reimagined. Music licensing reimagined.
Artlist.io Music license. List IO Music Licensing Reimagined. Music licensing reimagined. Music license. List I O Music Licensing Reimagined. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. We are just moments away from starting the second half of this game between Arizona Roller Derby All-Stars and Baja Roller Derby. First half big story, I think, really was jammer penalties. 
on Baja. Um, hard to score points when your jammers in the penalty box. Yeah, I think that was a big contribution to why we saw uh, such a disparity in the score between the two teams, despite them being both pretty well ranked, pretty, pretty good teams, well matched in general. But, uh, you know, sometimes those games happen. That's right. And sometimes it just takes a minute, too, to get things, you know, sorted out. So we'll see what happens here in this second half. A whole new second half. A whole Time. new set of 30 minutes to watch roller derby between two killer teams. That's right. And we are so glad you are here with us. Uh, those of you who are here in the venue, thanks so much for joining us. And if you are on the Twitch chat, we are also real, real glad. Si están viendo la transmisión por Twitch, muchas gracias por juntarse este sábado para ver este juego contra Baja California y Arizona. Vamos a regresar a jugar en esta segunda etapa de este juego. Vemos a Luz Chaos. Aquí va a ser contra Queen V de baja. Luz Chaos está viendo para afuera, pero Hannibal la captura. Mientras tanto, vemos a Queen V la mandan para atrás y están mantenida atrás en la defensa de Arizona. Si sí, vemos a Pony, la mandan a la cancha de penal. Y eso le da tiempo a Luz Chaos que salga con lead para Arizona. Si sí, vemos a la defensa ahora enfrente para Arizona conteniendo a Queen V para baja. Baja ahora tratando de ofrecer ofensa para su compañera aquí. Pero así vemos a Luz Chaos con cuatro puntos en el aire, regresando para otro cuatro puntos, viendo que va a ser el lugar más fácil para salir. Pero sí vemos a Queen V, sale en su inicial. Mientras tanto, uh, Luz Chaos toma tiempo para llamar el jam, <ríe> porque su compañera, I'm on Bill Bayou, uh, por, uh, por mistake la saca. <ríe> Así que nomás va a tomar ocho puntos en ese uh, en intercambio entre Queen V y Luz Chaos. 164 para Arizona, 10 puntos para Baja. Y ahora estamos empezando con el segundo jam de segundo mitad de este juego aquí. Y ya se va. West, West is a lead for Baja. West is out and is lead for Baja. Gail Satan wearing that star for Arizona. Gail Satan has salido del the pack. And Gail is returning now, ready to score some points. Now, Gail Satan out. Y los dos han ganado cuatro puntos. Y están regresando al pack para ver, pero se... Acaba el jam. West dijo que ya no vamos a hacer más. So, cuatro puntos para cada uno. That was a fast, fun jam to watch. Yep. All right. So, this is going to be a 2-4 pack advantage for Arizona. Baja having two blockers in the penalty box. One standing, one pivot sitting in the box. Five second call. This will be West Coast Mafia going up against number 10. No, that is actually number 18, Rich Bitch for Baja. Baja trying to work on some offense now that West Coast has gotten out with lead, trying to separate the Arizona pack, allowing less players for Rich Bitch to go up against. But that recycle and reformation of that tripod up at the front for Arizona is keeping Rich Bitch contained. Meanwhile, we do see West Coast Mafia being held in the back by Baja's own tripod, which is quickly reforming around West Coast. Uh, we do see kind of a uh, oscillating offense from Skatey Katie for West Coast, but Cut call being assessed to Rich Bitch for Baja, so a power jam for West Coast Mafia. So all D for Baja roller derby here. 
Baja trying to stay up at the front to contain West Coast. West Coast decides to ice the jammer in the box, keeping Baja not only scoreless, but also giving Frida in this next jam a power start. 172 for Arizona, 14 for Baja. Frida wearing that star for Arizona as we start The whistle means we are indeed starting. It is jam number four. Richvich sitting in that penalty box. So this is a power start. Frida getting knocked to the outside. Some very nice blocking there. It looks like. Oh, we're going to take gonna a moment a for a down skater. Yep. Quick timeout here. We're going to turn the camera away for just a moment while the skater is being assessed. Thank you to our medics who are here volunteering to make sure all of our skaters are well and ready to play roller derby and also taking care of when they, you know, take a bit of a spill, assess their injuries. Five second call, we are getting ready here for the next jam. Punky Pie on the track, power start for Arizona. Arizona going on full offense, but Baja trying to play double duty by playing both offense and defense. Tripod taking to the front, now recycling back Punky Pie, who was taken to the outside lane. We do see the return of Rich Bitch onto the track. One more to beat, two more to beat. No, no pack. So we have Rich Bitch out with lead for Baja. Rich Bitch now offering there are four points on the board for their team. Skatey Katie now with star in hand, takes out Rich Bitch, cutting that uh, lead for Baja, forcing the call off. But four points in the air for Baja Roller Derby, keeping Arizona scoreless. 172 AZ, 18 for Baja. Eight. Todos los fanáticos de Baja en el Twitch chat están ahí diciendo, up, up, Baja. Por lo que pasó en la última. Y vamos a empezar ahora. Esto es jam número 6. Luz Chaos con la estrella para Arizona contra Cerrillo. Va Baja. Y los dos están buscando una manera de salir de este pack. Pero los bloqueadores... No se permite a nadie, pero con los movimientos muy rápidos y flexibles, Luz Chaos ha salido del pack y Luz es lead en este jam. Uh, se cayó por un momento la estrella de baja, pero sería, sería otra vez lo tiene en su mano. Luz Chaos por un solo patina. Suavemente pasando. Oh. Y, y 
Ahora está reciclada, los chaos. No sí. saben qué tipo de músculos uno tiene que usar para mantener ese tipo de forma para <ríe> salir como luz chaos Ajá. así. <ríe> Mucho sí. entrenamiento. Pues sería era reciclada y luz chaos también. Y que ahora tiene cuatro puntos, está haciendo su segundo paso para puntos. Cuatro más está en ocho. Se, ah, hemos tenido un Cat paso de, de, la de la estrella. So, Cat Attack ahora es Jammer para baja. Y, y Cat Attack está... Uh, en la pista. Entrando al pack, está buscando puntos uh -huh. con el paseo ahorita. Cuatro más para Chaos. So ahora tenemos 12 para Chaos y Arizona. Y ya, con eso se termina el jam. Tres más para pa Arizona. Y el camión de comida ha llegado. The food truck is here, friends. The food truck is here. Así que cuando se acaba el juego, va a haber la troca de comida afuera. No, but we have a timeout. Creo que se escucharon que, que la comida ha llegado y en ese momento se necesitó mm -hmm. para, para un momento. No? No. <laughs> un bocado <laughs> después de tanto esfuerzo. I thought uh, maybe they called this time out because they heard the food truck is here. Any Anybody think that might be true? Uh -huh. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to kind of recap there, we have now uh, 15 points in the air from Lose Chaos's run and three points made by Cat Attack for Baja, bringing up the score to 187 for Arizona, 21 points for Baja. A timeout was called to give some time for the skaters to assess themselves. I believe Baja called a timeout. And as we know, last time they called a timeout, it worked in their benefit. Uh, so they just need to take a second to breathe and, uh, you know, reassess what their next strategy will be against Arizona, who so far has maintained a very good uh, bounce between offense and defense and just containing these jammers. So... Yeah, end of that timeout. Everybody back on the track. We do see the star on Marquez for Baja going up against Gail Satan for Arizona. Everybody taking the jammer line, five second call. And off we go, Gail Satan pushing their way to the front. Meanwhile, Marquez being held up at the back by Arizona's tripod now. Gail Satan through the inside lane and assess lead. I do you hear a penalty being called? Who was that on? Looks like number 13, Queen V for Baja is being sent to the box. Meanwhile, we see the star in hand for Marquez as Cuddy recycles back the Baja jammer with star in hand, looking to their pivot. Pivot at the front of the pack, basically, uh, receiving Gail Satan and holding up the tripod up at the front. Hannibal, the last line of defense before being knocked down by Gail Satan. Gail Satan out with four points for Arizona. Oh, a little bit of a spill, but Marquez back up, dealing with the tripod between Miss Murder, Cuddy, and I'm a Blue Bayou. Not a tripod I'd want to be in. But the star quickly passed over to Hannibal. Hannibal now star in hand, quickly trying to figure their way out. And on the inside lane, gets around Ima. But is assessed. Oh, nope. That was just a little bit of confusion. Hannibal now star on their head, trying to catch up to Gail Satan. Gail Satan picking up speed with their pack and is through. Listens to their pack and calls it. But Hannibal with some fingers in the air, says they picked up points as well, and the officials agree. Points picked up by Hannibal, two points for Baja, bringing them up to 23, to Gail Satan's 19, bringing up the All-Stars to 206.
Oh, it looks like a third point being added there to the Baja score at, in the moments before this next jam begins. So, numero ocho con la estrella West Coast Mafia y West Baja. Y West casi ha salido de ese pack, pero el tripod de Arizona está muy fuerte con Helenati, Mimi Mahler, and Lightning the Queen. Mm -hmm. Y ahora West Coast ha regresado al pack. Uh, un penal para número dos para Arizona, Mimi Muller. La mandan a la cancha de penal. Pero eso le da gana, le da chance a West a salir. Y West Coast tiene un penal. Se va para la caja. So eso. eso es un Power Jam. Power Jam Power para Jam West. Jam para West y Baja. Y, ah. uh. ¿A quién le cesaron el penal? Un momento. Va a ser a Helenati por Forearm. Y vemos el regreso a Mimi Muller a la pista. Pero West está contra Skatey Katie, que la manda por afuera y la recicla. Baja tratando de sacar a Skatey Katie, pero se mantiene dentro de la pista. Así que reciclada hasta atrás. Mientras tanto, West Coast Mafia regresa de la cancha de penal. Ahora corriendo para enfrente, pero la defensa de Baja está conteniendo a West Coast. Mientras tanto, uh, West Coast ve que tiene oportunidad de contener a West, que también está tratando de salir ella misma por a la línea de adentro, pero parece que Lightning y Helenari la contienen muy bien. Tres segundos y ya dijo suficiente, <ríe> ya, ya tuve suficiente. Uh, West con creo que ocho puntos. Sí, veo ocho puntos. Sí, ocho puntos para Baja y cuatro para Arizona. No, no. No, no hay puntos para Arizona. Uh, cuatro, oh, espérate, sí, cuatro. Sí, cuatro. sí. <laughs> Me confundí. Ok. So that was an excellent job by Baja to take full advantage of that power jam, getting eight points in that jam, four points for Arizona. Now jam number nine underway. Serio with the star for Baja and Frida for Arizona. Frida pushing that pack forward, but now knocked to the outside, so recycled back. Serio still trying to get out of the pack, but just being swallowed up by that tripod of Ke Cuddy, Aima, and Murder. Mm -hmm. Battle of the Tens. Indeed. And Ooh. the uh, Baja blockers also just doing a Beautiful Excellent recycling job. This is like the jam to watch for some blocker pointers because both teams have really locked it down, just tracking beautifully with the jammers and making it so hard for either Ooh. one to get out. Oh, and a, a yep. hard fall. So we're going to take a pause here for uh, to get Everybody checked out. Make sure everybody stay safe. Thanks again to our medics from yep. EVIT. Yeah, just a bit of a spill, but the skater is back to their bench after being assessed by our medics, who we do appreciate their volunteer time here on this beautiful Saturday afternoon here in 
Mesa, Arizona, where we are hosting a game between Baja Roller Derby and the Arizona All-Stars. Officials now just uh, done with their little conference. Everybody returning back to the track. And the whistle marks the return to gameplay. On the track, we have Punky Pie going up against Rich Bitch for Baja. Five second call, everybody skating back towards the jammer line and off we go. Punky Pie taking the inside lane and has one more to beat and out with lead, but is recycled by, I uh, believe that's Koshu. Oh, nope, never mind. Punky still assessed lead. Baja trying to quickly reform around Punky Pie, who's coming around for a scoring pass. Meanwhile, Rich Bitch with Star back on their helmet, coming back around. Here's the bench for Arizona calling for Punky Pie to call it, and they do. So that's a bit of a wash. Zero, zero jam, keeping the All-Stars at 210 to Baja's 32 with 15 minutes left in the second half. And we are getting ready now for jam number 11. Loose Chaos with the star for Arizona and Marquez for Baja. Marquez pushing towards the front of the pack, coming up against some very solid blocking there with Ms. Murder Mercedes, and I believe that's Cuddy, yes? And oh, a penalty assessed to loose chaos. So chaos going to the penalty box and Marquez now out and has picked up lead for Baja. Marquez coming back, re-engaging the pack, looking to pick up some points, maybe some offensive assistance coming in. Maybe. And Pony getting in there, breaking things up a bit, but Marquez is not to the inside as Loose Chaos now back on the track, skates through very quickly for that initial pass. So pressure now on Marquez, who will call it off. Excellent job by Arizona defense to kill that penalty holding Baja to just four points. An excellent jam for Baja there. A lot of uh, good teamwork containing Luz Chaos, who's very difficult to contain uh, in general. So four points for Baja. <laughs> Five second call. We have West on the line going up against Gale Satan. Aquí en la pista tenemos a West yendo contra Gale Satan. West mantenida, mantenida atrás, pero vemos a Baja reciclando a Gale Satan. Much, muchos chifles, muchos penales. <laughs> vemos a... Ok, vemos a Gale Satan regresando adentro, pero la defensa para Baja conteniendo a Gale Satan. Um, Mientras tanto, a West nomás le faltan dos, pero pasa la estrella a su compañera. Creo que va a ser Rich Bitch, o no sé, Koshu. Koshu tiene la estrella ahora para baja, pero reciclada para atrás. Mientras tanto, Gail Satan tratando de correr por adentro, pero la, la tiran para abajo y la reciclan para atrás. Much, mucha defensa. Muy enfocada para los dos equipos aquí. Uh, Baja ahora perdió a Gale Satan que sale. Todavía está en, la en su inicial. Koshu. Koshu ahora nomás le falta un poco más, pero Sherman la recicla. Gale Satan sí se corre sobre a West. Alguien está yendo la cancha de penal va a ser West 
para un low block. Ahora Gail Satan regresando para otro cuatro puntos. Mientras tanto vemos a Koshu con que sale con su inicial, la estrella casi caída de su casco. Termina ese jam, 12 puntos para Arizona, 0 puntos para Baja, 226 para Arizona, 36 para Baja, con 11 minutos que faltan en este juego en total. Va a haber un... Uh, van a, vamos a tomar un tiempo, va a ver, vamos a ver que los equipos están llamando un, re, ¿cómo se dice? Review, official review. Creo que un penal no les gustó y van a ver si pueden um, quitarle ese penal o van a platicar sobre otra cosa. Pero ahorita vamos a regresar al juego. Official review for Baja, and uh, if if we find out what happened, we will for sure let you all know. Raffle tickets for sale. This is a great time to get your tickets for the 50-50 raffle. People are going around selling those right now. All proceeds go to benefit our Arizona Roller Derby Juniors. So make sure you get your 50-50 raffle ticket. Support Arizona Juniors Roller Derby and, you know, win you some cashola. Speaking of juniors, if you have a junior age 8 to 17 that is interested in roller skating or roller derby, or you're just looking for an alternative sports experience for your child, join the AZRD Juniors. Practices are held on Sundays right here at the Broadway Rec Center. Visit ArizonaRollerDerby.com backslash juniors for more info. So we got the lowdown from our officials about what that official review was for. Uh, Baja wanted the low block rescinded on number 99 West, but the call stands. 
para que sepan, en Twitch, uh, pues Baja trató de revisar oficialmente el penal que se le asignó a West, pero queda ese penal. Ahora tenemos a Rich Beach yendo contra West Coast Mafia aquí en la pista. West Coast está mantenida al frente en la defensa de Baja. Baja mientras tanto reciclando a West Coast. Pony viendo dónde la va a mandar. Vemos que a Skatey Katie está tratando de ofrecer ofensiva para su compañera. Pero no la necesita. West Coast sale por afuera y la asignan Lee Jammer. Mientras tanto, con la estrella en mano, tenemos a Rich Pitch tratando de correr por enfrente, teniendo un, un poco de uh, dificultades, pero sale por afuera en su inicial. Rich Pitch ahora poniéndose la estrella en el casco, porque si no tiene la estrella, no va a poder hacer puntos. Mientras tanto, West Coast sale con sus cuatro puntos y pues llama al jam, ya con cuatro puntos en el aire. Así que va a ser 230 para Arizona, cero puntos para Baja. Y pues nos quedamos a 36 con nueve, menos de 10 minutos en esta segunda etapa del juego contra Baja y Arizona. Getting ready now for jam number 14. Frida with the star for Arizona. Cerillo for Baja. One Arizona blocker in the penalty box. A slight advantage to Baja. However, Frida is the one who, oh, takes advantage but gets a track cut call. So this is a power jam. Power take jam. advantage. Every power for jam. For Baja. Mm -hmm. So Baja now looking to get their jammer out of the box. Arizona blockers, though, going to make it real difficult. See what they can do to kill this penalty time. Sherman and 2 by 4 joining up there to slow down Cerillo. Cerillo now with just one to beat. Sherman with that inverted blocking as Pat gets spread out Ooh. and Cerillo does get out, gets called lead, but Lightning, the queen, running up very quickly and once again slowing down Cerillo with the inverted ah. blocking. So Arizona effectively killing that penalty because Frida is on the track and has successfully passed that helmet cover to Sherman. Sherman, now Jammer, puts the pressure on. We have a call off and holy smokes, a zero, zero jam. That was a battle. You know, Baja had a very good strategy in keeping back Lightning McQueen, who has been an issue for them um, in general, being a one-on-one -on -one blocker. Uh, so. It almost worked for them, but they couldn't contain Lightning for too long, and they were the last line of defense in that jam, uh, which effectively killed the penalty for Arizona, forcing the call off. Now we do see the return of Rich Bitch on the track going up against Punky Pie. Punky Pie, a bit of a scrum here at the first apex here. Punky being held in a nice, solid tripod Meanwhile, Rich Bitch being recycled, but quickly going back in with Hannibal's help on offense. Rich Bitch now working their way up, has one to beat, but recycled by Cuddy at the last second. That allows more momentum and more time for Punky Pie to work their way up, but recycled by Hannibal, taking Punky Pie all the way back. But in the meantime, that allowed time for Rich Bitch to be assessed a penalty. So power jam for Punky Pie for Arizona. So all D for Baja, which means all O for Arizona. But a quick recycle up to the front. Baja, everybody working on defense to contain Punky Pie. Arizona going quick for that sweep from the inside lane. Looks like Pony trying to contain with Hannibal, who is an excellent P 
pair of blockers containing Punky, but Punky ass ass assessed lead at the last moment here. Pony now with star in hand after a quick pass off from Rich Bitch. Oh, Skatey Katie being assessed a forearm for their attempt to knock out Pony, but Pony still being recycled to the back by Cuddy. Punky now held up at the front by Baja and knocked successfully out by Hannibal and recycled out. Forcing the call off on Punky Pie. That is four points in the air for Punky. 234 for Arizona, keeping Baja at 36 with five and a half minutes left in the second half of this game. Arizona with one blocker in the penalty box as we start jam number 16. Just about five minutes left in the game. West with the star for Baja. West tiene la trepa Baja. Luz Chaos con la trepa Arizona. Luz Chaos se va corriendo para la línea detrás y es lead ahora. Pero hemos tenido un paso de la estrella y el jammer ahora es Cat Attack. Cat Attack está regresando a pack. Eso es un paso para ganar puntos. Luz Chaos ya ha salido, tiene cuatro. Y Cat Attack, cuatro puntos para baja. Luz Chaos, pues de afuera, de adentro y ya se pasó fácilmente. Cat Attack también ha salido del pack. Cuatro puntos más. Estamos en ocho para cada uno de los jammers aquí en jam número 16. Pues Carolo con uno, un bloqueo al final. Y ya se acaba el jam. 12 puntos para Arizona y Luz Chaos. Ocho para Cat Attack y Baja. Eso, Cat Attack. Eso. Ahora nos quedamos a 246 para Arizona, 44 para Baja. Vemos en la pista con la estrella en el, en el casco a Pony para Baja contra Gale Satan para Arizona. Gale Satan rápidamente toma el frente de, del pack. Mientras tanto, Pony con esfuerzo y con ganas tratando de salir para afuera, pero la defensa de Arizona conteniendo a Pony. Pony se quita la estrella para poder pasar la estrella a su compañera Queen V. Queen V reciclada para atrás. Mientras tanto, a Gail Satan la sacan para un penal for un back block. Ahora va a ser power jam para Queen V con la estrella en la mano. Completamente Defensa para Arizona. Arizona tomando tiempo para reciclar para atrás a Queen V. I'm a blow by it. Ahora conteniendo a Queen V con Miss Murder, pero se sale con fácil des. Sale Queen V. Ahora se tiene que poner la estrella en el casco para hacer puntos. Es una oportunidad muy um, inesperada para baja, pero baja reciclada ah, pero mandan a Queen V para la para la cancha de penal va a ser Power Jam ahora para Arizona ahora el regreso de Gail Satan a la pista para hacer sus puntos Arizona tomando a Pony para atrás para mantener los dos, los dos equipos um, separados para que tengan menos jugadores con que tomar tiempo um, de salirse para Gail Satan. Gail Satan ahora saliendo por adentro. Trata de tomar la línea de adentro, pero la reciclan. Gail Satan ahora tratando otra vez y sale con un poco. El pantín sí salió, así que no agarró ese último punto, pero se acabó naturalmente ese jam. 12 puntos para Gail Satan. 12 points for Gail Satan. Y un punto para Queen V al final de ese uh, intercambio. 258 a 45. 
That last jam was a real battle. Now we're going into jam number 18, West against West Coast Mafia. Oh, and <laughs> West powering into the pack and skaters fall down and West Coast Mafia high stepping it through, gets out first, does pick up lead. Oh, and West with a forearm call is going to the penalty box. So this is a power jam, power jam for West Coast Mafia. West Coast Mafia knocked out but the blocker also going out so no earned pass and west coast continues with that forward momentum now looking to pick up some points here coming into turns three and four and west coast is through four more points added to the arizona score everybody forming up as West returns to the track and West out of the penalty box onto the track and through as time runs off the penalty, the period clock. And we friends have an unofficial score right now, 266, 45 after 60 hard hitting minutes of roller derby play here in Mesa, Arizona. Para nuestros compañeros y amigos y parientes de los uh, de los equipos aquí, muchas gracias por uh, pues ver esta transmisión entre el juego de Arizona contra Baja California. Aquí vemos el score aquí, 266 para Arizona y Baja a 45 es el uh, final de ese juego. Muchas gracias para todos que vieron esta transmisión y up, up, baja. Muchas gracias por ver, uh, venir aquí a Arizona y jugar contra nosotras. Thanks to everybody for being here with us. Thanks especially to our friends from Baja for traveling out to Arizona to play the Derbs. Stick around, fam. We do have another game going coming up next, starting at five o'clock there will be a mashup game that will be streaming live on twitch of course here in venue as well and and if you're on site once again make sure you go and get some uh delicious jamaican food outside from that food track food truck so we are out of here i am loquita bonita and i am vampira see you on the next one